All right then, let's make our own text-to-speech application. To start with, run Ionic Start TTS blank v2. This will make a new Ionic 2 project based on the blank template named TTS. After that, we can add the Cordova plugin by running Cordova plugin add Cordova plugin TTS. Sweet, let's open up in VS Code. To start with, I'm going to change my TS config to be targeting ES6. Next, I'm going to install the Ionic native package for text to speech. To do this, head over to the command line and type in npm install Ionic native text to speech save. With Ionic native 3.0 and above, each plugin is its own package as part of the Ionic native project. We can then head over to our source and open up our home.html. I'm going to make a new title named text to speech and I'm going to put the color to be primary. I'm going to run this in the browser using Ionic serve. While that's loading, I'm going to start creating an item. There we go. The item is going to be simply a label and a text area. Like so. And we're going to have a button underneath that. When we click the button down here, anything in this text area will be spoken by the voice of your operating system. Let's hook up the click event. Inside of our home component, we can make a text variable type of string. We can import the text to speech from Ionic native text to speech. In order to use this in our app, we will also have to go to app module and import it there. When we've imported it, we can add it to the providers list. And then back in our home components, we can instantiate it in the constructor. And then we can fill out the say text function. I'm going to make this async and it's going to return a promise. I'm going to add a try catch block to catch any errors. And we're going to run await this.tts dot speak this dot text so basically it's going to say anything in this dot text variable here which we're going to capture in our model so after that we can log out successfully spoke and then this dot text and if there's an error we can log out the error we can see how this would look in the browser obviously it's not going to work in the browser you'll have to check it on the device but if we just say hello world and then on the device, when we click this, it would, of course, actually say that in the console, we can see that Cordova is not available. So it would work on the device, but it won't work on the browser. I hope this has helped. If it has, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And of course, check out learnionic2.com.